This is the BenQ SW271 monitor. It's a 4K monitor. It's a professional monitor. It's made for photographers. And even though it's 4K, I will switch it for a new monitor from BenQ. Hello everyone, my name is Toma. I'm a professional landscape and travel photographer. This channel is all about landscape and travel photography, gear reviews. So if you're interested in these topics, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and you can further support me by buying one of my editing courses or coming and attending one of my workshops. The links are in the description of this video. This monitor was sent to me by BenQ a while ago. I did a review on this. This is a professional monitor. It's the SW271. It's a 4K monitor dedicated to photographers. But even with all these incredible features, I will switch this monitor again for another BenQ professional monitor for photographers. But more importantly, what's the reason for which I'm changing this 4K monitor? Now, having a 4K monitor may sound really interesting. This is a professional monitor. This is not a bad monitor. This, this monitor is really incredible. It has only one problem. It's 4K. And 90% of my edits as a photographer are for images to be posted on web. When I'm editing for the web, here is the resolution and here is how it looks on the screen. This is a 1000 pixel by 800 pixel uh, image. And this is how small this image looks on this monitor. This is the box that arrived from BenQ. It's a photographer monitor. And as you can see, it's the SW270C 27 inch monitor. I've installed the new monitor. Now what you're seeing here is the SW270C. And let me just show you, this is how big now the web resolution is. So this is a thousand pixels by 800 pixels. The big plus of the SW270C monitor from BenQ, I think is the 2K resolution. Having that 2K resolution allows you to add it in a much more pleasant and intuitive way, the web resolution photos. And we all know photographers spend a lot of time promoting their work. And as a photographer, I think it's very important for me to have this ability to look at the, at the web resolution image and decide exactly what I want to do. It's a 27 inch monitor. As I told you, it has 2K resolution, 16 by nine um, ratio aspect. It has 99% Adobe RGB coverage, 97% P3 and 100% sRGB coverage. The technology that's built in this monitor allows you to do hardware calibration. And this means that you can actually change the way the processor of the monitor outputs the colors. You're not affecting the video card, you are actually calibrating your hardware's monitor and you can do this by using the USB-C type uh, input that this monitor has it's a 60 watts input I think this is the most important feature of this monitor and by using that USB-C type uh, cable you have video audio data and you have also power that goes into this monitor. Other technologies that this monitor has includes the uniformity technology, which basically does micro enhancement of the image. And I don't think this is a good way for, for you as a photographer to use because other people will not have this type of technology. You will have the impression that your image has certain contrast, certain uh, luminosity and the image actually doesn't have that. That is one of the reasons for that I recommend not using this technology. And also it has HDR. Again, using uh, the, the capability of, uh, of, AG, of HDR from this monitor, it's not something that you would want as a photographer because you would see an image that doesn't look like that. So you need to, to be able to see the image for what it actually is. All these technologies that do enhancements on the image 
without those enhancements being actually being on the image are not, I think, in my personal opinion, a good thing for you as a photographer to use. So use the technologies that are really useful for you. Use the power of this monitor, which has an incredible display. It looks so nice. It's such a, a wonderful experience to add it on. But there are some things that are not simply they are not useful for a, for, for a photographer. This monitor also has a um, G2 puck. They call it like that. Simple way in which you can adjust different settings of the monitor. The IPS technology is really great. You have wide angle view angles, 178 degrees, almost 180 degrees. And another great thing is the shading hood that they provide with the monitor. Many times um, there are glares from the window and from different sources of light. And this helps um, get rid of them a little bit it will not get rid of everything because you would have to basically have like a tube and you would have to stick your head there but it's a, a when you have light sources near the monitor that could affect the surface of the monitor that shading hood helps a lot overall experience using this monitor it's a really interesting and fun and beautiful and great it's it's something that you can't appreciate unless you have the monitor in front of you and you take a look at it uh, this professional series from BenQ it's it's really great that that almost edgeless uh, screen it's 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 wonderful the feeling that you have when you edit the images it's like you're doing something professional it's it, it takes you to another level the 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 size of the dot of the dot from the screen it's really small so you have this impression of a fine image and you're tuning it and it, it kind of makes you feel more um, more like an artist if, if, if you want hope you like this review hope you like this uh, presentation uh, for this monitor and hope you answer some of your questions if you need or not a 4k monitor now at the end don't forget to subscribe and bye bye